that the administration would be putting forward today a legislative proposal to Congress to fortify our efforts to um, combat, the Zika combat the Zika virus, uh, both overseas and here at home, uh, and making sure we're taking the necessary steps to protect the American people. The virus causes a mild illness in most people. In fact, four out of five people have no symptoms at all. But last fall, Brazil noticed an increase in an unusual birth defect called microcephaly. And we began to be concerned that this virus could potentially be associated with serious complications of pregnancy. Since that time, the virus has spread to a number of countries in the Americas. It's also spread to U.S. territories, including Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and American Samoa. And we have had cases in travelers here in the United States. For the average American, this is not something that will change your day-to-day -day life. But if you are pregnant, we have taken the unusual step of recommending that you avoid travel to areas where Zika is spreading. Or if you live in an area such as that or must travel, that you be very vigilant with applying mosquito repellent and taking steps to avoid mosquito bites. We need to get a very specific diagnostic to tell a woman, particularly who's pregnant, have you been infected with Zika or not? That's going to be very important, and we're working very closely on that. And finally, there's the issue with the vaccine. Vaccines are very important. The good news is that Zika is a what we call a flavy virus, a certain class of viruses, and we have successfully developed vaccines against flavy viruses, like yellow fever, like dengue, a vaccine that was just recently approved in Brazil and Mexico, and we're studying that right now. So we have already started to develop a vaccine in the early stages, and we can predict that we likely would be in phase one trial just to determine if it's safe and if it induces a good response, probably by the end of the summer and get that going by the end of this year. And if it looks like it's safe, we'll go to the next stage. Unlikely to have a vaccine that's widely available for a few years, but we certainly can get the initial steps.